Welcome to CB Off-Road Adventures. Today promises an exciting journey near Theodore Roosevelt Lake, just outside of Globe, Arizona. Our current route takes us up Highway 288, tracing the northern perimeter of the lake in search of adventure. En route to our trailhead, the scenic highway treats us to captivating views of the lake and its picturesque desert surroundings. We approach the Upper Salt River Diversion Dam. Despite its name, the Salt River isn't excessively salty. Rather, the name stems from its historical use as a salt source by indigenous people. This region has many remnants of natives, and for those intrigued by the area's history, we have other videos about cliff dwellings in the area you should check out. To get over the Salt River, we cross the Diversion Dam Bridge. While details about this bridge I could not find online, there is an undeniable allure to bridges that I find captivating. The intricate engineering, aesthetic appeal, or just the contrast between the metal structures against the stunning backdrop all contribute to its allure. Once beyond the bridge, the landscape unfolds with mesmerizing desert views featuring mesas, mountains, and canyons as we gradually go up in elevation. Our trail is 21 miles from the bridge, transitioning from desert terrain to forested environment from paved roads to unpaved roads. Even the journey to the trailhead is a great drive worthy of your time. You got the white knuckles holding on a tie Keep your fears bottled up inside Head in for a collision in the night To really live you gotta die Welcome adventurers, this is Chris with CB Off-Road Adventures. We actually just got to the beginning of the trail we're gonna be doing today. The trail we're doing today is Aztec Peak Trail. This is just north of Globe, Arizona, about 40, 45 miles north of Globe, Arizona, east of Roosevelt Lake. Um, if you've ever been to Young, Arizona, you essentially just take the highway 288 from Globe north and then take Forest Road 487 to actually get to Aztec Peak, which we're going today. Um, we've not been to this, this trail before in the past, so it's gonna, gonna be a new adventure today, which is super exciting. Uh, have heard good things. It is gonna be a very easy trail, uh, but very scenic. Um, I heard that there's possible mines in the area, a waterfall, and even a fire lookout. So super excited for that. So uh, join us for this adventure and let's go ahead and check it out. Aztec Peak Trail starts on Forest Road 487, spanning 6.7 miles of gorgeous dirt road. This trail follows an in and out route, which means you come back the same way you enter, but with a drive as striking as this, the scenery does not get tiresome. The trail has a well-graded dirt road suitable for nearly any vehicle. However, it is essential to note that during specific times of the year, the trail closes due to snow. With Aztec Peak standing as the highest summit in the Sierra Anchis mountain range at 7,748 feet, coupled with drop-offs along the way, the snow poses a danger, promoting the area's closure in winter. When the trail is open, numerous pull-off spots invite you to enjoy the creek that travels parallel to the road, or even set up camp at one of the designated camping areas. Given the wildlife abundance, including bears, practice responsible exploring, pack out what you bring in, and be safe. All right, guys, so today, I wanna to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about 
how I stay safe out here on the trail alone. So one of the best things that I've invested in that is a game changer when you're going out by yourself is a satellite communicator. Now I have one called the Zolio. So this Zolio device actually connects to satellites and allows you to have two-way communication um, if you ever need help. So regardless of cell service or how remote you are, you just point this thing right up to the sky and it allows you to reach out to people. Uh, today is a perfect example of why one is necessary. Got on the trail about 15 minutes in here and just starting to hear a slight rattle coming from the rear of the truck. Now, I don't know exactly what that is. I tried to troubleshoot it, tried to find it, but I could not find it. But if anything is to happen to the vehicle and I am stranded out here, this right here, oop, upside down, this right here is gonna go ahead and save me out here. I could text message um, who I need for help to go ahead and get me out of here, or I could text message somebody to pick up a part to bring it out to me so I can repair the truck. Regardless, I am in communication with anyone I need wherever I need it. So this is a, again called the Zolio device. This is highly, uh, uh, needed one out here by yourself so i highly suggest it well that's it i guess we'll talk to you soon This is Workman Creek Falls and is one of the highlights of this trail. Even with the modest amount of water flow today, the falls were a captivating sight. From my research, the falls were named after a pioneer that lived in this area back in the 1880s named Harry Workman, but the name evolved over time into Workman. These falls are one of the tallest in Arizona at nearly 200 feet and are just spectacular to experience. I can't wait to come back and see it with more heavy water flow after the winter when the snow starts melting. Having enjoyed a fantastic time at the falls, I resumed the journey along the trail, ready for further adventure. Researching into the area's history, I discovered its role in the Apache War of 1866, a conflict between the indigenous people of the area and the United States Army. Notably, a general from that era established a heliograph communication network on top of Aztec Peak back in 1886. I wonder if we will see remnants of this historic communication site as I reach the summit. Alright guys, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to go any further unfortunately. It looks like we ran into some ice. Super, super slick ice and it looks like it just keeps on going up to the rest of the mountain. So yeah, super, super slick and with a lot of the drop-offs around here, 
and me be, being by myself, it's probably not the safest thing to keep on moving forward. So we're gonna turn around um, and get back home. Looks like we ran into another problem, unfortunately. So I heard a little tss, 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 while driving, and it looks like I'm starting to lose air out of one of my tires. It looks like possibly that we have some sidewall damage, unfortunately, and uh, which is kind of crazy for the fact that this is such an easy trail. Looks like I must have just hit like a rock, just perfect or something, and split. split the tire tires getting a little old so that probably had a little bit to do with it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna air up that tire as much as we can keep on moving forward and just keep on monitoring it Okay guys, I wanted to go ahead and give you an update. Right now, the tire is doing okay. Um, it is still losing a little bit of air, but it is holding a decent amount of pressure where I can get off of this trail. The sun is starting to go behind the mountains right now, so it's starting to get a little bit darker. So probably not gonna film much of uh, me driving back, but I will definitely go ahead and give you an update once we get to the end of the trail here. Hey guys, as you can tell, it is the next day, but I wanted to give you a quick little update in regards to our adventure and kind of an ending to our story. So we are back in town. We are actually at Discount Tire, if you can see that behind me, getting our tire replaced. Um, got off the trail safely. It wasn't too bad. Had to pump up the tire a couple more times on the way to Globe. Got to Globe, but unfortunately, the tire shops are kind of closed for the evening already. So that's okay. We got the high lift jack out got uh, the spare tire on the vehicle and drove home. But that's what happens sometimes in the trail. You never, never know what's actually gonna go ahead and happen out there, so be prepared. But other than that, I guess our adventure over Aztec Peak was a fun time out there. Um, there is some interesting things at the, the top of the peak that we didn't get to that I am super excited to get back on that trail for. One, there is a fire lookout, super excited for, and there is some furniture made out of some massive rocks that looks like a lot of fun. So once the snow melts off, the trail opens 
opens back up, we'll be able to get back out there and check it out. So super excited for that. But if you like this type of content, definitely subscribe to our channel. We'd be uh, happy to have you guys. Give us a thumbs up and I guess we will see you on the next trail. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you later.